America's comeback starts right now. Donald Trump's 2024 presidential campaign facing some early financial red flags. Two major Republican groups backing away from the former president this week. First, the network affiliated with billionaire Charles Koch, indicating it would wade into the Republican primary to support a candidate other than Donald Trump. Then, the Club for Growth, one of the biggest outside spenders in Republican politics, inviting six potential 2024 GOP hopefuls, including Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and former Vice President Mike Pence, to a donor retreat, but not inviting the former president. These groups have spent tens of millions of dollars in previous election cycles, boosting Republican candidates up and down the ballot. This as some mega donors who once supported Trump, like Stephen Schwartzman, have said they won't back him this time around. And others, such as Miriam Adelson, widow of casino magnate Sheldon Adelson, have indicated they plan to stay on the sidelines for now. The early warning signs extending beyond big spenders, with the former president's campaign bringing in $9.5 million in the six weeks after he announced his latest White House bid, less than the $11.8 million his political operation raised in the six weeks before his launch. They said he's not doing rallies. We didn't. I'm more angry now and I'm more committed now than I ever was. This. Sources close to the former president brushed off his need to rely on big donors pointing to his success in 2016 when many of them were lined up behind his rivals. Trump's fundraising strength has come in large part from an energized base of small dollar donors, a group his team hopes to tap even more when the former president is reinstated on Facebook in the coming weeks. This campaign will be about the future. Despite the struggles, Trump's operation still boasts a mountain of cash, with a stockpile of more than $81 million across his various committees. But Trump isn't the only Republican with a substantial war chest. Thank you very much. DeSantis's operation had more than $75 million left after the 2022 midterms. Funds his team has explored how to shift to potentially support a presidential campaign. While other possible contenders such as Pence and former U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley have more modest sources of funds to tap for potential campaigns.